Hi guys, it's Numa Stacker and I'm coming here back with you again for another in uh, this series of September mega unboxings. This is number two of the one that's just arrived from NGC and there will be another one in a couple of weeks time with some other coins in it and probably a couple of weeks after that. It seems to me Silver Forum members have put loads and loads of coins through to NGC to be graded. Um, and they will come through, I guess, in drips and drabs. They normally wait till they've got just enough to fill up a big box that they can send express and then, uh, and then send it all over in one go, which is a much better way of doing it because it only takes two days to arrive. So I like that. So in this section of the mega unboxing, we have the Panda medal. The, uh, this is the scallop design Panda garden medal. There are six in the series, and this is number one in the series of six. Uh, number two will be in October, and uh, if anyone's interested in that, pre-orders are available through uh, Lucky, Lucky Monero, uh, luckwebshop.com, and, uh, sorry, luck, luckpornshop.com is his email address, is his web address. Uh, there were 59 of this silver antique, 99 of the others. Um, I think it'll be either the same or 99 of each for the rest of the series. Uh, just working out what to do with that at the moment. Um, I fed in to the design of the uh, medal um, for the second one. So it'll be interesting to see what you guys think of the second one compared to the first one. And uh, I chose the panda design, which was uh, two pandas kind of snuggling up together, which I really liked. And we'll see how that design uh, works on the medal in the second one. So uh, I've got nothing whatsoever to do with these financially. I just uh, enjoy feeding into uh, the, the designs if I get the chance to see them in preview. I bought two sets for myself. Uh, I'm going to keep these for my collection at the moment. They both did pretty well. Um, 68, 69s and 70s apart from one. Uh, the brass antique that got a 66. Don't really understand the reason why it got a 66. Uh, I looked at them, can't really see very much difference between the 66 and the 68. So who knows? Brass proof ones both got 70s. A lot of them got 70s, but some of them didn't do so well. I don't think it makes a lot of difference, to be honest. And uh, they're all nice, and I'll split them into two different sets, and at some stage... I might sell one set, but my plans at the moment are to uh, to keep them. This one was the 66 on the left, 68 on the right. Can't really see the difference, but I'm sure there is some very minor difference between them. Um, I like the presentation of these in the slabs. Uh, they've done a great job with the, the scalloped um, holder for it. Uh, the Panda ink label is pretty cool, and it takes a, a double size um, holder, double width holder. This one was a Silver Forum member who wanted to, to get a 2015 uh, Bullion Panda quarter ounce uh, slabbed. Chose the Panda Ink label for this and it got a 70, which I'm sure will go down very, very well with this particular Silver Forum member. Next up, we've got a couple of uh, giant size slabs. And... Uh, You'll have seen one or two like this in previous unboxings for this first one because uh, I think Regal Stack has had a couple slabbed, I've had one slabbed, and this is the fourth one that uh, has been slabbed in the series. Um, probably not a lot of people are putting these in the giant size slabs. They may think because they're bullion it's not worth it. I actually think the opposite. I think that uh, as time goes by, having these in the giant slabs, although it costs quite a lot of money to slab them, will make a really nice set of coins with, with great presents. So I'm hoping that uh, as each one of these comes out, we'll get hold of a couple, uh, slab them, see, see if we can get 69 or a 70 uh, on them, and then keep a core set of these coins with all the different Queen's Beasts animals on. I think it'll make a, a nice set. Um, see my video on sets, and probably you know whether that's a good idea or not, I don't know. Um, I probably won't sell it as a set at some stage. I'll probably sell it as individuals. I just fancy making a video of all of them lined up in a row as one video for these slab giant size coins. I think that would be really nice. 
and you can see close up the uh, the work here. It's just such a nice design. I think they've done. I think the bullion design. I think I, is better than the proof design in my opinion. And I haven't bought any proofs for myself at all. Only the bullion coins. I just really like this, and I like the coaster size and presence for the ten ounce coin. I think it'll be really nice. I just hope the mintages for these aren't too huge when the mintages eventually get released by the Royal Mint at some stage, probably based on a Freedom of Information Act request because they are pretty cagey about giving out their mintages unless forced to do so. So moving on to the next giant size slab that we have here. This one is um, very well known to you Americans who are watching this. Uh, it's not one I've seen before, but uh, somebody in the UK had one of these coins, the specimen version of uh, one of these coins, and uh, I've seen the little ones when I've been in America um, on the regular quarter, and these are the giant super-sized versions of the, uh, the quarter's um, National Treasures series. It seems to go on forever and ever and ever, a few of these coming out a year. This one is uh, Hawaii Volcanoes. And uh, I've been over to Hawaii, and I've seen the uh, Kauai, I've seen the volcano over there firsthand. It's pretty awesome, and uh, they've done an awesome join with jo job with this coin. I think it's one of the um, more precious of these, and this is not the bullion. You can see this is the special finish. It's not the bullion finish. Uh, this is a little bit more expensive, and they've given it the special National Treasures label, and it got a seventy which I uh, can't say fairer than that. Not too many of them have achieved a 70. And I think this is probably a great choice of coin to slab, uh, particularly with the special coloured label on. I've no doubt if this member wants to sell this coin at some stage, this will fetch a good price. Um, over in the UK, there's probably no more than a handful of these that are around. So anyone who wants this is probably going to have to pay dearly for one in the UK or import one from the States. So that's the end of boxing, unboxing number two, and there will be a number three very, very shortly. Let me know what you guys think, and please like, subscribe, and comment above all. Thanks for watching, guys.